Victoria ISD is holding a series of meetings to talk about the upcoming voter approved tax rate election. One of those meetings is just about to start. 25 News Now reporter Trenton Whiting is there and joins us with details. Trenton. Don, Shauna, thank you. Here shortly, Victoria ISD will provide more information about the votary here at Victoria East High School inside the library. The meeting begins at 6.30 p.m. The votary is a tax rate increase intended to boost wages for teachers and staff in Victoria ISD schools. It would create around $7 million in additional funding for salaries if passed. Teachers could see a salary increase anywhere from $1,500 to $7,000. Clerical staff and bus drivers would see a $2 an hour pay raise. Taxpayers would see a rate of about $0.89 cents per $100 valuation. That's a $0.09 cent increase, which is over the maximum they can increase taxes without an election. Interim Superintendent Randy Meyer says that the board has dropped the school tax rate $0.39 cents over time. He says the district is asking for $0.09 cents back to help fund and retain their staff. We want to keep our excellent, awesome teachers. We need to pay them a competitive wage because everybody else around us is wanting our teachers. And if they're willing to pay more than we are, we're not going to be able to keep them here for our kids. We want you to stay here in Victoria. We need you here in Victoria. And Victoria loves you back and thanks you for what you're doing for our students. Our trustees are, are definitely being able to be trusted. They have worked like yeoman to get things done. And the money that is being spent is being spent just where we asked them to spend it, which is for our teachers and also to make sure that we get and maintain the best bank maintenance guys that money can buy. Them. The next voucher information meeting will be this Thursday, October 10th at Shore Limmer Elementary. It'll be inside the library at 630 p.m. Only those who registered to vote by today's 5 p.m. deadline can participate in the November 5th election where the voucher will be on the ballot. Reporting live. Trenton Whiting, KAVU-TV, 25 News Now. All right, thanks a lot, Trenton.